In the previous tutorial we showed how to scale the entire box, something which is probably better done in your CNC program. Um, however, Construction View also has some basic uh, facilities for scaling uh, width, depth and height independently, for example. Um, if you want to do anything sophisticated in this line, you're probably better off using one of the template boxes from the library. However, um, Construction View does allow up to 10 parameters. Uh, these are set by using th this uh, Dimension Quick Entry More box, little dialog. <coughs> there are 10 parameters available and you can give each of them a name. Uh, entering um, numbers in the value column is equivalent to entering them in the main uh, quick slots in here and that's uh, has, if you do that then uh, you, your entry is applied straight away but changing the value does not modify the sections uh, whose height you've already set it to that value. On the other hand if I do the, the same thing here uh, say I'm going to have a uh, box uh, height and set that to 300 millimeters and now if I set a in the formula column if I set a box a um, section height to that value then changing this formula later will also change the height of the section. So you can uh, roughly create your box and then um, adjust the parameters in order to uh, achieve the desired um, aesthetic shape. So let's start with this one here. Um, so I'm going to apply box height to it to the height of this section. Um, adjust section height. So what I do is I push the corresponding uh, digit which is 5 and left click. Uh, I'll do that here as well. 5, uh, sorry, got to go in at section, adjust section height, 5, click. Uh, this one has to be done the same. Um, at section, adjust section height, 5, and this one, um, add section, adjust section height, five, left click. Um, this uh, uh, top um, face is, has to stay the same size as, this, uh, as the base, and so we don't want to use this um, parameter number five for it. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, we want a section. Uh, we want a uh, parameter called box depth, box dp, uh, which I'll make uh, as 200 millimeters. And I want to set the height of this section to that value. So uh, at section adjust section height uh, number six, six. So already was that height. Um, However, it was that height um, not parameterized before. Now it's parameterized that height. So if I do that to this one as well, and just section height uh, six, click. Now if I try changing this value, uh, those sections should change in height. Okay, as you see. Uh, similarly, changing this one will make all the parameterized sections change height. Um, so now let me continue. Um, I want to have a parameter for the height of the folding flap. So I'll call that flap hit and I'll make that the uh, 70 millimeters and this one section adjust section height uh, so that was parameter number seven, and section 
just section height 7 left click and just section height 7 left click um, now want a further parameter which is the glue flap height glue HT which I'll make 20 millimeters and I'll set these um, section heights section uh, that's parameter number eight um, now that could be either side um, looks like it was already 20 millimeters let's just try changing it yep um, so this one um, at section adjust section height uh, so that's eight left click um, just section height eight left click and finally um, section just section height eight left click thick let's just try that again um, just section height I think I'll let go the eight the eight left click okay so now um, just checking that those are correct I make this one 20 again all of those will change and if I make this one 170 um, then those three flaps will change now we can verify now uh, first you must close this dialog box otherwise you can't go into 3d mode uh, we're about to verify that the box still folds correctly in its outlandish proportions so um, seems like these um, um, side flaps are a bit long um, let's just uh, try folding and see what happens Hmm, so that bit oh yes okay so it does work it's just that the flaps are kind of a silly length um, let's just go back into construction mode and uh, change these ones to something a bit more reasonable that's the flap height of um, um, say um, um, 50 millimeters okay so back in 3d mode and fold it up fold 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 Oh, yes, it looks all right. And okay, so of course, um, if you're doing this for a practical purpose, uh, it would be kind of sensible to proportion decide the boxes proportion before you actually go to, to uh, uh, illustrate it or else you can uh, save the um, unillustrated box and then derive multiple boxes from it by illustrating each one af after you've set the parameters um, I know it's, um, this dialog box is also available in the 3d mode so you can uh, directly play with this in here